What is up, friends, and welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's doing good. Today, we wanna get into something a little bit different with your Bun Gear Command Center, all right? Now, if you don't know what the Command Center is, we're gonna put some links down below where we talk about the Command Center. And um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this thing. I mean, you can probably just tell from the intro, this video is gonna be dope, right? The intro alone to this YouTube channel is epic. So please, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 10K. It is very humbling and hard to do so. So we need your help. Subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video. Also, leave a comment because I personally respond to all of them. All right, now, you wanna see what I'm, you see what, you wanna see it right now? Go ahead and pull back, Jeb, and show them. Woo! You've never seen one like this before, have you? So guys, what you're looking at here is a wrapped Bun Gear Command Center. If you don't know what the Command Center is, it is a brand that I created about three years ago because I was sick and tired of setting up on a six foot banquet table with a filthy linen on it. So I started building DJ tables. First out of fiberglass, now out of aluminum. They make them in Arizona right here in the good old USA. If you want yours, the link is down below. You can grab one. They start shipping literally any day now. We're shooting this in August of 2022. And hopefully, if all goes well in the world, which please, please, I hope it does, we won't run out again and you'll always be able to get one of these. But right now, go ahead and order bungear.com. So um, I wanna talk a little bit about this version and, and as you see it right now. Normally, it comes in just two colors. It's either black or white. And I wanna talk about how this one came about. It's, it's very interesting. So I think over the last three years, a few parts have come back that got stood on by UPS drivers or dented up by customers and things like that and they couldn't get it repaired. So I had a, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I had a black top piece and then I had a white rack. And so I got them out of storage and I was like, mm, I don't know about this tuxedo look. Although now that I think about it, it might've been kind of cool. But I was like, why don't I take these to my sign guy and get them wrapped in this kind of 3M sticker type paper. And I took it to Alex over at Corporate Graphic. He's actually here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I was like, dude, let's do a wood version uh, for all these barn weddings or all these kind of rustic type weddings. And he showed me a few different versions of some kind of wood wrappings that he had. One was darker. I really like this light color. And so we did it. And he basically wrapped it. And I think it came out amazing. We'll get some really good B-roll from my, my guy Jeb over here to kind of show you how it turned out. But the way I also thought about it was, and what we'll do for you guys is I talked to Alex yesterday and had a conversation with him and I said, is there a way to get like a template or the files for how you did this to you guys? So hopefully they'll be down in the link below. If not, you can always shoot me an email at joe at and I'll get them to you if you're interested in this. But how I thought about it for you guys, if you buy one of these booths, is I think you can use this wrap as an upsell to your corporate clients, right? or maybe even wedding clients if they're super, you know, over the top and love branding and, and love their colors and maybe they have their own logo. For example, I did a, a gig yesterday for Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina. Huge tech summit. Uh, you might have seen the reel that I posted or some of the pictures. They had me right beside the main stage on my own little riser. I was the voice of God. I was standing up there all day. I played all the stingers as the speakers walked up to the stage. I played all the music during lunch and the breaks. Like I was pretty much a featured part of a 10 hour tech conference. Now, I think it would have been a lot cooler if my white booth up on that stage had been wrapped in their blue and white color scheme, quite frankly, and a big BCBS logo on the front, like they would have gone nuts over that. In fact, I don't think I would have eaten that charge. I probably would have found out what somebody was gonna wrap the booth for, doubled it, and then let them do it. From what I know about this type of paper, and you can make sure when you get it done, or if you get it done, that you can just peel it right off. It's not gonna rip the paint off. Again, these are powder coated aluminum booths. This is not some cheap spray painted stuff. These are powder coated aluminum booths and I think that would have been super cool to have at that event. 
you know pretty far in advance, usually when these big corporate events are gonna be, you know, sell them on it. You know, maybe you can even get the, the sign person or your graphics person to mock up what the booth would look like with a Lenovo branding or IBM branding or Apple branding or Target branding on it. Just think about the possibilities for how cool this could be if it was an on-brand piece up there at the front of your next big corporate event or big corporate holiday party. So think about that as an upsell and something else you can do. Before I sign off this video, I wanna point out a couple of other things because like I said, these are starting to ship now. They're starting to sell now, which is a great thing. It's a beautiful feeling. It's something I'm very, very proud of. I love mine. I love all of mine. I got a wood one, I got a black one, I got a white one in the van. I love these booths. I take them everywhere I go. There was a video a few weeks ago where we talked about loading in and I showed this special little cart that I had made and we'll show you some B-roll of that right now. This little cart, was a game changer for a lot of people. So I started getting a lot more phone calls after that video came out on YouTube. And I was like, why all of a sudden now are you interested? And all these guys started talking about, they have trailers, they have vans, they have box trucks, and they never really saw somebody leave it assembled and get it in and out of a venue so quickly until they saw that YouTube video with this little cart. And so that started sparking even more sales. So not only do I think you've got an opportunity here to upsell this and upgrade this, but I also think you have opportunities to possibly leave this thing put together and not break it down into the two carrying bags it comes into if you have the right kind of vehicle and you build yourself a nice little cart like I did. Honestly, it's just a few miscellaneous parts from Amazon and your local hardware store and you can make a nice little cart. So those were two things I really wanted to point out about the booth, wrapping it and carting it in as one solid piece, controller, all your stuff racked, in and out, one trip, lift it off the cart, boom. Or if you're a super tall DJ, you might be able to skirt the cart and leave it on the bottom of it. I've seen some guys do that as well. If you really wanna see some ingenuity, make sure you're a member of the Bun Gear Fans Facebook page. There are so many mods to these booths on that page. You'll be blown away. I'm always blown away. I love to go through and approve those posts and look at what people have done, adding mic stands and carts and this, that, and the other. The only other thing I did other than getting this booth wrapped was I just did a little spray painting to these caps and rings up here just to make them uh, blend in a little bit more because these were black, these were black, uh, and these were black, obviously. And so I just took them out in the yard, sandpapered them a little bit to scuff them up, laid them on a cardboard box, sprayed them down with a white coat of spray paint, and they are good to go. You will notice during some of the B-roll probably that the rail system is not in this one. I had stripped it out for purposes of needing to send those parts to somebody along the way. So I'll probably just cut myself a few wood blocks for my Pioneer DDJ-1000 and level that out and Velcro them down or glue them down to this and call it a day. This booth is ready to go. I'll probably grab a set of custom covers from Tukey. Covers, boom, and then wrap the middle, and then maybe I'll take my little cart that I'm getting ready to show you guys and then cruise the whole thing in. I like to leave mine assembled, but again, always remember it breaks down into two bags. They're about 35 pounds each, and you can roll right in just like this, simple. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Something to think about if you're thinking about getting in the furniture game or if you're thinking about grabbing a Bun Gear Command Center at bungear.com is maybe doing this wrap, maybe offering it as an upsell, maybe leaving the booth assembled, maybe building yourself a little cart. I just always like to keep your wheels turning and want you to look better, feel better, play better, and just be more proud and confident in front of your setup. I believe that this is a game changer in the DJ industry. You see more and more furniture coming out every year and I truly believe we've built one of the best, if not the best piece of furniture. I don't go to any show without it and I get tons of compliments before I even start playing songs there. So that just tells you something right off the bat. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like the video and leave me a comment. See you back next week. Brand new content every single Thursday. Peace. Mm -hmm.